Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I will be doing the June roundup and whoop, we're halfway through the year. So I will be doing favorites, which means both product favorites, song favorites, clothing favorites and such. And also a little talk and today's talk will be about being halfway through the year and having done these sort of roundup videos for half of a year. So let's get right into it. So my first product, actually two products, are these candles from Bath & Body Works and they are in the scent Sugar Lemon Zest and Midnight Blue Citrus and I got these because Bath & Body Works was doing a half year sale, like a really massive half year sale so things were 40% of what they were originally. It was crazy. They were really cheap so I decided to pick up some candles. Sugar Lemon Zest smells like a lemon meringue almost, so it's like citrusy, but there's also that sweetness in there. And Midnight Blue Citrus smells like water, almost rainwater in the nicest way possible. Sort of florally, musky. Also like a hint of maybe like orange. So they're really nice scents and my room smells really nice because I've been burning these candles. And something about having like a flame going on is really comforting, you know, helps set the vibe. Next off, I have another set of products. These are from Glow Recipe. These are their plum plump products. So it includes a serum, a moisturizer, and a lip balm. And I bought them as a set off of their website. And that was actually before the gloss balm released so I got to sort of try it a little early and I didn't think I would be using them in Hong Kong since Hong Kong's so humid but when I came back my skin was all dry and cracking and these products really helped my skin then so serum, moisturizer, and the lip balm and they're all like plum scented, like a sweet plum scented but it's not overpowering in the slightest it's just sort of faintly there in the background so definitely not too overwhelming and a gloss balm the newest product, it's smooth, it's glossy, it reminds me sort of of the Laneige lip masks like the sleeping ones, the colorful pink ones and I think it's very comparable so we did scents, we did skincare, and we have a makeup product. This is a concealer from The Sam, S-A-E-M, and it is a Korean makeup brand, and this is in the shade 1.75. I honestly don't think there's too much special about this concealer, other than the fact that this was the first concealer I found that matched my skin very well and blended just effortlessly. Like regardless if my skin was super hydrated, if it was dry, it would just blend into nothing. And even like sometimes because like my forehead is slightly darker than my face, so I would have to blend it further out there, but it would still provide nice coverage and sort of like make my face one even shade, which is nice. And this one is almost done. I finished it in about half a year and I already have a backup ready to go. And they have smaller gaps between their shades, so it's like they'd have one, 1.25, 1.5, 1.75, two, and so on. So I think that's really what helps make it a great shade match. And it also stays quite well. Like you can't tell that it's like breaking up or anything. So definitely a thumbs up from me. I will continue to buy it. Next stuff, we have these two photo card holders. Yes that is June inside right now. So um, I remember doing something very similar in my May wrap up, but these two are fluffy photo card holders and they look like animals. So for example, this one is a cat, has a tail, and this one is a raccoon. At least I think it is meant to be. And I got these from a seller off Etsy, even though I know you can probably find them on other platforms like AliExpress or off Amazon or off small sellers on Instagram, And for example. So I'll just link where I got them from. I think they shipped really fast for me. And yeah, they're really cute. <laughs> Lastly, I have this which is a little unsuspecting at first, but it is actually a power bank. So this is the type that sticks via MagSafe onto like the back of your phone. So for example, this is my phone. It just kind of stays there. 
and then when you turn it on at the bottom, it charges your phone wirelessly. And then, this is, I think in my opinion, worth about one and a half full charges. Like if your phone's at 10%, it'll take you back up to 100 and then maybe from 50 to 100 again or something like that. I took it with me to concerts and music festivals and it was really helpful because even though it does charge slower than the wire charger, it doesn't, you don't have to hold two clunky things with your hands and instead just hold it here because it has a little finger loop so you could just hold your phone while it's like this. So it's really like slim and doesn't get in the way and that's why I think it's so handy to have around. So that pretty much concludes our favorite section. I sort of sped through it today. Hopefully it's still really enjoyable and let's get into song favorites. So I have received a fi up on my phone right now. Um, so number one, I recommend Bad Hobby by Yena. She is a K-pop soloist and pretty much just released a mini album with three songs and Bad Hobby is my favorite of the three. It's super addicting, highly recommend. Next up I have Glue Song by Biba Doobie. I know I discovered this song late, but I've just sort of subconsciously been listening to it via like social media and so forth. So I decided, oh, I might as well put it on my playlist once and for all and that's how I listen to it so much. Next up, I have Dare to Love by B.I. or Hanbin and Big Naughty. So these are two um, Korean rappers and it's a really chill, happy, uplifting song. And there's this one part that I find super addicting. Let me see if I can find it. So there's this really satisfying and addictive part in the song and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So yep, that's my third song. Number four, I have Our Summer by Tomorrow X Together or TXT. I really love this song whenever it's summertime and it's crazy to think this was on their debut album because so many of their songs fit this summer playlist vibe and so I always just go back to their songs for the summer. That's number four. Oh, and number five is Bolo, spelled B-O-L-O, -O, by Phenomico, Y-D-G dot organic. I'm not exactly sure how the artists work there. I discovered this on songs like X and I find that it's a really good way to find similar sounds in songs that you like and it catches like the style of music very well so I recommend it. So first of all recommend Bolo by Phenomico and also the website songs like X. Okay so those are my five music recommendations and while I have my phone open I'm gonna check sleep Okay, once again, it does look a little scary because I flew halfway through the month and scarily enough, I have averaged six hours and nine minutes of sleep. Um, this is probably because I started my intern job and that's sort of like shifted my hours that I have been asleep for as well as me just sort of staying up and not really getting the most sleep. So. That is definitely still on my list of things to try and improve on this summer. And before I get into the sort of chatting section, I actually have an outfit on today, so I can sort of show it off to you guys. Hi! Welcome to another mirror. So this shirt is from YesStyle. It's a really cute graphic tee. It's sort of the perfect oversized length for me. And I don't know, I've just, it's just really comfy and I've enjoyed it. This jacket is from Champion. Um, I'm not exactly sure when I bought it or what make it is, but it's just a typical zip-up hoodie jacket. And to keep with the blue theme, I have on a pair of track pants from also Yes Style. I'll leave links in the description. Don't mind my slippers, but this was a really just casual laid-back outfit that I wanted to keep in the blue general theme. So I think I did a pretty good job. So time for the chat and we're going to talk about why I do these monthly videos to begin with and, you know, to celebrate the fact that I've done them for six months now. So I wanted to sort of set myself a goal 
to sort of journal but I don't like journaling and it's a lot of effort to do it every day and I haven't really been good at keeping up habits that require me to do something actually time consuming every day so I thought I wanted a way to at least write down or note some of my thoughts or just have a chance to talk about things that might be significant to the month and I thought, oh, what about a sort of vlog that sums up a month? So that's what this is. <laughs> and I really enjoy it because I like having the chance to just sit here and debrief. At the end of a month, it feels very wholesome and I can like collect each piece of the month when I'm going around looking for my favorites, when I'm scrolling through my phone realizing how little I've slept, and when I get the chance to freely talk about things because I've done the thing, you know, when you're younger and just sort of talking to the mirror, pretend like you're reviewing a product or you're ranting about your friends and this is me putting it in video and on the internet and that commitment is very important to me because I find it really hard to stick to things. I've never really been able to do a hobby for a really long time or even commit myself to like Duolingo, for example. So. Something like this means a lot to me because I have this motivation, this commitment to sort of push out a video every month because maybe people out there are waiting for it and that's enough to get the camera out for me to sit here and to unpack my thoughts. So it's probably actually been more helpful to me because it's given me a sense of stability and a way to prove to myself that yes, I can do something for a long time if I want to. And I think it's a cool twist on journaling because, you know, like I've never really been good at pretty writing or drawing or anything, so I feel like the best way is just to use my words and put it all together in a video. And similarly, I think doing YouTube in general is a message of commitment. Since people get worried if you don't post or it feels bad to abandon a channel, so at least for this year, I'm really gonna try to look after this channel and put all my effort into it because it's like a pet, it's like a child. It's the more love and energy and effort you put into it, the more you're gonna get out. So this is me saying I'm gonna hang on to this chance and not let go because something like this that's special to me and special to you guys. It doesn't come very often and I want to treasure it because this whole format of speaking into a camera and filming a video and editing a video is something completely new to me and I would have never thought I'd get so much peace and happiness from doing something so simple. So it's surprising yet very rewarding because I get to understand myself more, express myself better, speak my thoughts, maybe share some words of advice, and, and those are things I never really get to do in the real world or in my everyday life. So it's nice that I sort of can make friends with all of you guys and use this internet voice to help me express my thoughts and, you know, come to terms with uh, anything. <laughs> so I wanted to sort of use this to tell myself that I'm really proud of you that if I could look back and find myself at the end of December holding this vlog camera as my Christmas gift, I could tell them, this is going to be great. You're going to f somehow miraculously find the time to film videos, edit them. You're going to make people all over the world happy. You're going to really enjoy what you're doing. And you're going to grow so much just by practicing speaking and figuring your thoughts out every now and then. And that's one thing about this channel that will never change, even though I know I might post more ASMR because that's what I like doing. But I will always do these monthly recap videos because they help me and they're what provide structure to this channel, provide structure to YouTube as a whole for me. Because I know that even if worse comes to worse, I will post one monthly video and that is enough to keep this channel alive. And at the end, I'll be able to search up my channel, thank all of my subscribers and commenters and everything, and look at all these videos I've posted, especially the monthly ones. I'll be able to watch all of them, who knows when, five years, tomorrow, in 15 years, 
and think, this is what I was thinking when I was in school. This is what I thought was interesting. Or this is what I was dedicated to all those years ago. And it's nice having this proof of something that you put so much effort and time into and being able to sort of hold it, look at it all together and think of those minutes that I'm sitting in front of a camera and sort of see it all come to fruition that you did it. You did it for six months, you can do it for six more. And, and hopefully that motivates maybe some of you to do that thing you've always wanted to, to maybe start a new hobby, try something out, maybe start forming a new routine that, you know, maybe it sticks, maybe it doesn't, but you can make anything work if you put enough effort into it. And who knows, something with a bit of loose structure like a monthly recap video or maybe a monthly journal if that's more your style maybe that will help you guys too just find a way to get your thoughts out and put them together in a way that you can see so that at least on the inside you feel more at peace I think that wraps it up for today so thank you everyone it's been Bon P. I will see you all very soon <laughs>